What's up guys, Bobby Palacios here. And as you probably noticed, I am not Sean. And if you didn't notice, I'd recommend seeing an optometrist because you're either A, going blind, or I just look a lot more like Sean than I thought I did, which is also kind of weird. But what if I do look like Sean? Hey guys, Sean here with Butler Branding. Anyways, I digress. And for those that don't know what I do, I'm one of the videographers slash photographers at Butler Branding. And although I do a bit of both for the company, I wanna talk to you today about photography because I wanna show you one of my favorite tools I use in Lightroom. And today I'm gonna use my iPad for this photo because I just love editing photos on this thing. It's super small and portable and powerful. So I guess without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, I'm gonna make this short and simple. And today's goal is to make that background behind Brittany less gray and more white using the masking tool. Okay, so the first step is to get this, open up Lightroom on your iPad. Simple enough, right? The next step involves the tool panel on the right hand side. And this is where you wanna make all your adjustments on the subject. Okay, so now it's time to isolate the background from the subject. And to do this, you want to access the masking tool. Once selected, you'll see a plus sign on the bottom of the screen. And tapping on this gives you the option to select the type of mask you want. And in this case, you want to choose Select Subject. Now by default, Lightroom's going to choose any person in the foreground as the subject. So how do we choose the background instead? Well, on the bottom left hand side, there's a button that lets us invert the selection. And there you go. Now whatever adjustments you make only affect the background, which for example in this photo, allows us to make corrections to ensure that the white backdrop remains, you know, white. And this is really cool because even though the goal is to expose correctly in camera, sometimes that's not always the case, which is why tools like this are super helpful. And here's the finished product. And a huge thank you to Brittany, super awesome. But there you go. And that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you found this type of video uh, beneficial if you're a photographer. And if you like this type of content, let us know. Um, but I guess until next time, bye.